friends, how are you doing? In today's video I'm gonna be pre-sprouting and planting my ranunculus corms and wanted to show you this process because honestly ranunculus are not the easiest plants to grow, it can be a little bit tricky and then on top of that if you search online how to grow ranunculus from corms you will come across different methods, different techniques that are recommended to gardeners in different growing zones so it all can be a little bit confusing and a little bit overwhelming um, so today I'm going to show you what works for me and hopefully if you follow the same steps that will work for you as well uh, so generally speaking there are two main methods of growing ranunculus you can either plant them out in the fall and then have them over winter as young plants and then they will bloom for you in the spring uh, this technique is recommended to gardeners in warmer climates in zone 7 and above uh, but I garden in zone 8 and that didn't work for me at all and that's because ranunculus don't like uh, wet soil they are very prone to rot they don't appreciate cold winds, especially when they are just developing, and they won't tolerate frost for longer periods of time. So that being said, when I plant them on the balcony in the fall, they are getting all of that during fall winter. So that doesn't work for me, they rot out. Um, so I follow a technique that's recommended to gardeners in colder climates, and that is to start them in the spring. Uh, this way they will bloom for you a little bit later, they will bloom early summer, and here again there are several different approaches so my approach is because obviously you can just go out and plant them in the spring directly but what i like to do is to pre-sprout them indoors this way i know that they are awake i know that they are ready to grow and once i transplant them on the on the balcony they are just starting to grow they are not just sitting out there in the cold for several weeks so here is how ranunculus corms look like in their dormant form kind of like a little octopus uh, so right now they are dormant, so before we plant them we have to wake them up from their dormancy by rehydrating them. So to wake up your ranunculus corms from their dormancy you will need to soak them in a lukewarm water. So prepare yourself either a bowl or a bucket with some fresh water. Um, and I recommend doing this on your day off or when you have some time to spare because uh, they need your full attention in this process. Because uh, first of all, you have to soak them for three to four hours and it has to be really three to four hours, no less, no more. Because if you soak them less than three hours, they will probably not fully rehydrate. And then if you soak them for more than three hours, there is a risk that they will rot. Also, you have to change the water every hour. It's really important to soak them in a fresh water. So I'm only planting one variety of ranunculus so I can all just put them in this one bowl. But if you were to grow different varieties, I've seen people place them in uh, like a small mesh bags uh, and categorize them, you know, sort them by variety so that you don't confuse them later on. So let's just place them in this bowl of water and then I'm gonna put my timer on and every hour I'm gonna change the water and then after three hours or three and a half hours i'm gonna show you how they look and what to do next okay guys so the corms are nearly done soaking so in the meantime i'm gonna prepare my seed tray so i'm gonna fill it with pre-moistened potting mix i use just a classic season cuttings potting mix you want the potting mix to be damp but not soggy wet Okay, the corms have been soaking for three hours, they have doubled in size, they are nice and plump, so now I'm gonna plant them in my seed tray. So I'm just gently placing them on top of soil. They can be planted very close to one another, that doesn't really matter. And you wanna plant them um, with their legs down. Now I'm just gonna gently cover them with pre-moistened potting mix. You don't wanna bury them, just wanna cover them with potting mix. Okay, and now you have to place them in a cool and dark spot 
for a couple of weeks. If you notice that the soil dries out, you can give them just a splash of water, but normally it should be fine. If your potting mix is pre-moistened, uh, this should be largely enough moisture for them to start to sprout. So we are going to post the video in here and in a couple of weeks I'm going to show you how they look and what to do next. Okay, you guys, I'm sorry I have to scream to you a little bit because I lost my microphone. So um, this is how the ranunculus should look like after about two weeks. Uh, I think most of mine have sprouted, but if some of yours didn't sprout, uh, you can give them additional two or three days, but if nothing happens, well, then nothing happens. Sometimes not all the corms will sprout. That's just how it goes with the ranunculus. So now I'm just gonna gently tease them out and plant them in their final containers. So I'm going to be planting my ranunculus in a multi-purpose potting mix with added perlite uh, and I'm going to plant them very close to the surface and then just cover them with a bit of soil. I don't want to overcrowd them so I'm planting about four in this smaller pot and I think I have five in this slightly larger pot and then I have some extra left that I can plant in some other pots. So I covered them with a layer of soil. I did not add a lot. Uh, they are planted quite shallow. As you can see, some of them are still peeking through. Um, so I just barely covered them with soil, maybe two, three centimeters of soil. So now the last thing left to do is to water them. Okay, so just a couple of tips after planting. Uh, ideally, now you will place them in a bright location. Somewhere with the morning sunlight would be ideal. Uh, obviously there's still a risk of frost, so whenever there's a frost in the forecast, I'm gonna come out here, I'm gonna protect them, wrap them in some horticultural fleece uh, during those colder nights. Um, and then at the beginning I'm gonna water them very sparingly because they are still very small, they don't have a lot of roots, so there's still a risk of rotting. Uh, but once they start to grow a little bit bigger, once there's more foliage, I'm gonna start watering them regularly, and that's when I will also start uh, using some fertilizer. Uh, but yeah. For now, that's it. Hope that you found it helpful. Uh, I'm gonna give you some updates, obviously, as the season progresses. Uh, but yeah, for today's video, that's gonna be it. Hope that you enjoyed it. Hope that you found it helpful. Thanks so much for joining me and we'll see each other in the next one.